You know, in my life, I found that it pays to have a well-engineered backup plan. And I found that if people don't have a good backup plan, then there'll be costs, significant costs. Now, in Australia, when you put a house up, there's basically three ways that you would put a house up with walls. You could have the traditional brick wall, either a brick veneer or double brick. You could have a house that have walls that are cladded with some sort of cladding. And now you've got the option of using Hebel. I guess Hebel is a cross between a solid block wall and cladding. And Hebel has become quite popular because there are many advantages in using Hebel. Now, whilst architects and builders would gravitate to Hebel because of the advantages, they've forgotten about the backup plan. Now, what backup plan am I talking about? Well, when you talk about a brick construction, over the years, we've discovered that we need a backup plan for an external skin of brickwork. And the reason is because the skin of brickwork will always be permeable. That is, water will get through the skin of brickwork. So we always need a backup plan to capture the water that gets in and bring it back out again. Therefore, flashings and weep holes. So traditionally, brick walls will have flashings and weep holes. Now, when we come to the other type of wall construction, where we've got cladding, cladding, because it's done in segments, also permits the installation of flashings. Uh, you won't have a weep hole because the flashings can go in between the elements and the water will weep out through the elements. So you can provide a means of draining the water back out once the water gets in. Now we come to Hebel walls. How the hell do we get water out of the Hebel walls when water gets in? Now that is an area where I don't see a well-engineered backup plan. So when you don't have a well-engineered backup plan, what do you do? Well, you hope for the best, right? And this is what most Hebel wall construction is all about. You hope for the best. So the idea is you put walls up, you seal all the joints, you put windows in and you seal all the windows and you make sure that water never ever gets in past the Hebel wall because there are no whip holes on Hebel walls. So the plan is, fingers crossed, water doesn't get in, so you don't need to get the water back out. And this kind of works because there's a redundancy in the system. Because if water ever gets in behind the Hebel wall, you've got a layer of wall membrane or sarking, right? And water will hit that, it'll travel vertically downwards, all the way to the footing, and it'll either sit there, or it'll find a means to actually get out at the footing level. And that's what normally happens. If ever the Hebel wall fails and water gets in, it goes all the way to ground and it drains out. You never ever know that you've got a leak. So if you've got a house that's built with Hebel walls and you've got nice vertical walls, either single or double story, the chances are that you don't really have to worry about this. But with modern house builds, there's a complication, right? Because in a two-story build, it kind of makes sense that you would use brick on the lower level. And because you can use a lightweight wall on the higher level, you don't need the same level of structural supports for the upper level walls. So you would put in hebel panels nice and light. But now with a lot of the two-story constructions, you've got a step back. So the lower house is actually bigger than the up house, so it steps back. So the wall now is offset from the external wall to the lower level. And as soon as that happens, we've got huge problems. There is no engineered backup plan and significant costs will arise. So if you've got one of these houses, then you need to know this. Now, you may well ask, why does the roofer suddenly get interested in Hebel walls. Now it's because we often get asked to look at roof leaks and these leaks are so baffling because they are normally fairly new buildings, two-story buildings 
and the leaks at the lower level, right? At the ceiling of the lower level. And it's always at the side of the building or at the back of the building. And these are the areas where you always have the step back. So you may have a garage that the roof steps back and then the building gets smaller. Or at the back of the house, you drop down from two stories to a single story into an alfresco or a kitchen area, for instance, right? And these are the areas that often experience leaks. And we would check the roof out and there'll be nothing wrong with the roof. And then we scratch our heads and say, where the hell is this leak coming from? Now, we've got an example here where the builder, after a few years, have had to come back and spend thousands and thousands of dollars doing remedial work on Hebel walls. And the reason is that the Hebel walls whilst it was okay immediately after the construction was complete suddenly decided to develop leaks a bit further down the track and i think based on this experience a, a lot of the builders are coming to grips with the fact that hebel walls on second story buildings can be problematic and this is mainly because there's really no engineered backup plan for when there's movement in the walls the ceiling starts to crack or the capping on the top of the Hebel wall uh, develops a, a, a leak and the water runs down behind a, the Hebel wall. And when you have a step back, when water runs down, it can't get out. And the only way that water will get out is to continue down onto the ceiling level, down the bottom, and you get a leak down there where there's a Hebel wall above it. And these leaks for us has been really problematic because it's really difficult to fix. So in this particular example, the builders come back and spend thousands and thousands of dollars taking the old sealant out, applying new sealant, and then finishing it off with waterproof paint. And the whole basis for this remedial repair work is purely to stop water getting through the Hebel wall because there's no backup plan to get the water out. So they are now concentrating on making the wall absolutely waterproof and let's hope this works because you can go to extreme mean to make something waterproof and you can be successful well my preference is to accept the fact that there's no perfection there is always the potential of water getting in so you must have an engineered backup plan to let the water out so I think with the Hebel wall construction, it will have to lose that nice smooth finish with no breaks in it. And it will have to introduce a system where there are flashings put in, especially where you've got a step wall, there has to be a flashing put in so that the water can be drained out. Now it's not gonna look quite as smick because there will be a deliberate break in the wall, but I believe that Hebel walls should have an engineered backup plan to get the water out. So if you've got a house with Hebel walls that are starting to develop cracks at the joints or elsewhere or around the windows, then you are gonna be up for substantial costs. And if you're thinking of building a new house with Hebel walls, then you've gotta be really aware that you need to have an engineered backup plan to get the water out once the water gets in. Because you don't see weep holes on Hebel walls. And if you look at your Hebel wall and you can't see where the water is gonna get out, then you're gonna realize that it's got no backup plan. So you're gonna make sure that water never ever gets in. So do you think we should have an engineered backup plan for these new style Hebel walls? Or should we just have fingers crossed?